you're wanting to pick up some bread, milk, and eggs before the storm arrives in Wichita, there's one store you won't be able to hit this week. The state seized the popular locally owned grocery in West Wichita because of thousands of dollars in unpaid back taxes, and it's putting everything up for auction at a bargain. It's Eli Higgins is here now with more. Eli. Yeah, David, most West Siders driving down Central will recognize the, the store by that bright flashing light on the side of it. But unfortunately, it won't be there much longer, and everything has to go. You have um, chips. You have Mexican seasoning. Cyril Gillette is going on 30 years working for Bud Palmer Auction. Just when he thinks he's seen it all. That's the... <laughs> Why is that? That's a snake. It, it, it's an oil. It's a snake oil. This is Gillette's most recent project. It started when the Kansas Department of Revenue called him last month to go with law enforcement to seize Carniceria El Guero in West Wichita after the owner racked up almost $30,000 in unpaid sales tax. Gillette says his company helps with all kinds of business seizures, but this one is rare. Grocery store, very seldom. Very seldom, yes. Very seldom something like this goes out of business. Everything is exactly as it was when the agent seized it. And Gillette says that's exactly how it will stay for the auction. It's always set up here. Everything here will, will be sold. Everything. All we're going to do is probably straighten up a little bit and he comes and tags. He's talking about his boss, Bud Palmer, who's been doing this for more than 70 years now. Palmer says he's planning on selling everything by the shelf and there will be no shortage of good deals. Some of that stuff won't bring anything. They get for a dime a can, you know. If nobody wants chili or, or salsa, they'll give a dime a can, 20 cents. We don't want it. Well, if they don't bid, we're, we're selling it. If they don't give a dime a can, we'll sell it a dollar for the pile. After the auction, Palmer takes his cut, and the rest goes directly to the balance the owner owes the state. Gillette says as popular as this store was, he's expecting a packed house Tuesday. Just how they left it. We haven't touched nothing. And, and here's the candles that, that are very desirable. Now again, this auction will be on Tuesday, March 15th. For a list of more of those bigger items that will be for sale, just go on over to our website. That's cake.com. We'll have the information up for you. In the studio, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.